Grandpa Newby reporting for duty. And we're going to try something new from now, probably until Black Ops 6 drops. Yesterday in our last video, we looked at the P890. And tomorrow or the next day, we're going to look at the Bryson 890. Two weapons with the same number, but one's a pistol, one's a shoddy. Today it's the X12 because the X12 also got a significant buff on October 1st. And here it is. So we're going to give this thing some C trials here. And P890 was a hip shot machine. I have a feeling this is going to be also. But we're also going to use this one at distance. And I'll show you why right now. Let's look at the attachment. First, we got the 24 round mag. So I didn't go all the way up to the 50 round drum or the 33 round mag because I didn't want to impact the performance that much, the mobility. We've got it all below 10% on the red side and handling a little bit more of an impact pack but 24 rounds is a requirement if you look at the headshot damage it's up at 75 upper and lower torso 61 51 respectively upper legs 47 so this thing packs a punch and the rate of fire is 521 rounds per minute with an effective range of 17.3 meters so this weapon can reach out and gack someone at a much longer range than the p890 with the bullet velocity being 361.9, almost 362, that would make the hit scan range 18 meters, so almost all the way out to the effective damage range. This weapon acts like you're shooting somebody at point blank range. Let's look at some of the other important numbers. Recoil isn't one of them. I'm going to ignore that. Accuracy, 1.6 on the hip fire spread, so it's going to be very accurate with the hip fire. Mobility, 5.3 meters per second. Sprint speed a little on the slow side but tax print but tax sprint is fairly quick ads speed 158 not great not horrible sprint to fire we're at 80 milliseconds so that's going to be very very quick whether it's hip fire whether it's ads we're going to be able to sprint to fire very very quickly let's look at some of the other attachments i put the lightning trigger on it because it increases the rate of fire the rest of them i didn't see any reason to use them i realize some people say you can't put out between eight and ten rounds per second when i tested the x12 without one of the triggers on it it seemed to fire fairly slow to me and maybe that's just my imagination running away with me but maybe it's not so i put the xrk lightning fire on there the Cronin Lima 6 rear grip. That gave me a slightly better ADS speed because I will be ADSing. I didn't with the P890, but I will with this. And the sprint to fire speed helped by 13%. The sidearm laser. 20% improvement on the hip fire spread min and 10% on the hip fire spread. So that's worthwhile. No negatives there. And the XRK LUC9. Probably don't need this one, but I had an extra slot, so I put the barrel on there. You can see what it does. Speaking of seeing what it does, let's go on to the firing range and see what the X-12 can do first. Hit fire. I got to send it up. There we go. So the hip fire is straight as an arrow. How about ADS? Thirty meters takes a little movement, and spot on at ten meters. And I say thirty meters because I'm all I'm not all the way up to here. So let's go ten meters. Really good. Now twenty five meters, and you can see in three rounds it's a gacamole machine. Let's take the X-12 onto the field of honor, the OG Gacamole machine, and see how it did for Grandpa, see what it did to Grandpa's enemies. And this time I'm playing a lot with some of our friends of the channel. Let's go. All right, let's get into this. The X-12. Good start here. Playing hard point. We got... The purple skull dude. They used to call him the Phantom. The Phantom when I was growing up he had a cartoon. I don't know if he still has one. Car comment if he does. We got people on fire. Now compared to the P890, little less power in terms of damage, but the damage is still very high. 
but you can get more you can get a bigger magazine and the trigger just seems a lot faster and the phantom got grandpa back there don't like to use the word phantom in a negative context because the F4 phantom was my favorite airplane to fly my favorite fighter oh, somebody left a welcome mat for grandpa I don't know what's going on there probably stole that kill the zombie got Michael Myers I mean there's a million Michael Myers running around can you imagine a world where there are that many Michael Myers in one place I mean there'd be more slashing going on there's a little hip shot teammate Richard Petty tried to gat grandpa but you can't do that in core hardcore maybe there's what two Michael Myers in a row Mike and Otis Myers, twin brothers. As you can see, we can move around with the X-12. Actually, this one here has about four or five times, what is it, the range? Three times the range, okay. Grandpa doesn't exaggerate. I've told you a million billion times. I don't exaggerate. But the range is much greater for this weapon. The X-12 over the P-890. I mean, there are advantages for both of them, but both of them are absolutely gacamole machines. Serving chips, serving gacamole. Hard to hit. Whoop, there's Michael Myers. Grandpa had to bop him in the head. I'm going to soak a little bit. Stick people, get them as they're coming through. That's why you don't go through that container. You don't go through that container in hardpoint when you have this hardpoint or any other one on shipment because then the enemy is forced to funnel through that container and you easily pick them off. And we won that one. Uh, 45 GACs, not all of them were with the X-12, but almost all of them were. So we're going to go one more time in and well, that's a good, uh, try a little it. bit of domination. We got an iron back on our team. Yeah, this is a quick killer, especially if the enemy is physically damaged. That 75 to the head. 60 some to the upper torso if he's physically damaged now like i said before emotionally damaged doesn't count but if he's physically damaged at all you're probably going to get a one shot kill you're going to get a two shot kill to the head no matter what so we have enough everybody's jumping around like kangaroos there oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa. I thought i hit him a couple of times Throw that series of welcome mats out, and I get gacked by it right away. Hoisted on my own petard. Little miss tried to. That guy just reminds me of a bubblegum machine for some <laughs> reason. You guys remember the old bubblegum machines with the round fishbowl tops on them? That's what that guy reminds me of, a bubblegum machine. Although I could. We used to have to put a penny in them. Now I think the minimum is going to be, what, a quarter? Put a penny in a gumball machine, get a little gumball that lasted about a minute or two in terms of flavor. There's gumball. So, yeah, the weapon, if they, especially if they line up, I mean, you absolutely can delete some people with the X-12. It's good enough to be a primary weapon. Grandpa used it last Ooh. night in about ten games on the live stream. Yep as a primary weapon mm. and that's in core and hardcore i'm sure this thing absolutely deletes with the range and the damage that it has These guys are and the accuracy it deletes i'm sure in hardcore. From grandpa's not much of a hardcore player i kind of go in go in spurts there's some titles where i primarily play hardcore there are some where i won't even 
get into oh. it. I think I've only had maybe three or four games chasing camos, and I, I determined camos for me much easier in core. There's bubble gum. Was that bubble gum? Not sure. So try the X12. Uh, he didn't reclaim me that time or that time. And comment below how you like it. I'm telling you, with the kind of damage you get on it, you don't see just regular weapons that aren't snipers or shoddies that get that kind of damage. Try the X12 and let me know in the comments how you like it. There's average soldier, our iron back kind of embarrassing a little bit. I like having an iron back on our team when it's during the, the stream and people are just absolutely iron backing us and knifing us to death. We'll get one guy with, a, with it and he does quite well with it. He tried to throw a knife at Grandpa. Did you see that? Elder abuse. Or innocent grandpa. Oh, shooting at my own team. There's my next intended victim. How he got away, I'll never know. Probably accuracy. But you can make yourself almost impossible to hit with this by jumping around and firing and doesn't throw your aim off at all. Whether it's up close or at distance, this thing is a beast. So give me your stories on the X-12. I want to say ANSI X-12 because that's a standard. It's kind of funny. I did that at, when I worked at Microsoft when I was a developer. ANSI God, I X-12. I they didn't see me. But I, want, I appreciate you watching, as always. And I appreciate your comments and people showing up at the stream on... Thursday and Sunday nights and sometimes on Wednesday to get the weekly challenges. Like and subscribe is always appreciated. Helps me. Helps the family. Hey, Max. Enjoy the X-12. Let me know how it went for you. Cheers and peace to you as always. Have a wonderful weekend.